Hey, I wonder what's going on here. <laughs> Storyteller. Uh, hey, Shields. Uh, what is your lady love doing? Well, my lady love has a special request. She would like you to read the big green pocket book. She is a big fan of the color green. Isn't that right, my Cherie? Wee -hee -hee -hee. And also, she loves uh, pocket books because, you know, we are French. We love these things of beauty. Isn't that right, my Cherie? Mm. Uh, so, uh, will you read this? Of course I will. I mean, she's so sweet and so quiet. Yes, but she says a million things when I look deep into her eyes. <laughs> All right, well then, in honor of Gilles' silent, lovely girlfriend, we shall read the big green pocket book, which actually I know a little girl and her mom also want us to read. So. This is just great because everybody wants to read about this big green pocket book. And the author is excited that we're reading it too because this is what you'll call a classic children's book. Shall we begin? Let's do it. This morning, Mama and I are taking the bus to town. Mama hooks her big blue pocket book over her arm. She tells me to hurry or we will miss the bus. I get my big a green a pocket book that's just like mama's only mine is empty i can't think of anything to put in it and mama says hurry uh, move it along move it along can't be late we wait for the bus at the end of our driveway cars pop over the hill whoosh, whoosh, oop, there goes the bus there comes the bus right there in the corner they look like pickup ducks at the fair mama stands ready to flag the bus but i see it first Woo! Woo! i wave my big green pocket book which, you know, especially if it's empty, you could really use it to wave around and hail a bus. That's very smart. By the way, meow. Check out Kitty Cat in the corner. Beautiful blue day. Sun is out like it is here. That's why you see a few shadows. But hey, I'll take the sun any day in any way. So, a hot cloud comes out of the bus. Oh, yeah. A big plume of dust, I imagine. I hold my breath. <gasps> As we climb on, Mama lets me drop money into the box. Clink, 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 clink. You know, gotta pay the fare. Uh, the bus driver gives me some punched tickets and I put them in my pocketbook. Ah, empty no more. That's a great pocketbook, he says. When he leans over to close the door, his leather seat <coughs> creaks. <coughs> we go to the bank. The cool marble wall smells like pennies. Oh, yeah. Bank smell, the smell of money. My, what a big purse, says the bank teller. She stamps my mom's papers. Kerchunk, kerchunk. Then she hands me two, ooh, two lollipops. One yellow and one purple. Ooh, purple's my favorite. One for now and one for later. I put the purple one in my pocketbook. Oh, so she's going to eat the yellow one now, not me. I do it completely the opposite. But hey, everybody has their way. Yeah, we've got a kid here. He's playing with a wooden uh, toy car. Got people licking their envelopes, people making deposits. There's a baby on this man's back. So, baby got back, back got baby. Next, we go to the insurance office. Oh, mom is busy, busy, busy today. There is an umbrella painted on the door. Oh, Mama fills out some forms. The secretary lets me sit at her typewriter. Well, that's very nice of her. I type my name, first in big letters, then in little letters. Now, how you know, how you know that this book is vintage uh, is because the, the secretary has a typewriter, not a computer, not a laptop. Isn't that cool, typewriter? I actually have one and it's blue, almost like this color right here. They're really fun to type on. So there's the insurance company. You see people walking around outside. Again, another beautiful day. Now, what's next? Mama wants to go to the jewelry store. Maybe that's why she was at the bank. I stare at the rings and the glass cases. Oh, rings. Oh, I have one. Uh, the stones are all the colors of the rainbow. A pocketbook that big, the jewelry man says, must belong to someone important. The jewelry man gives me a keychain. Now, I don't have any keys, but it clinks when I put it in my pocketbook. Clink, clink. Nice. Oh, she is filling up. Oh, a lot of dogs in the neighborhood. This one's named Max. I'm going to name this one Fesperini. 
I know, I know, a very unusual name, but he just struck me as a Fesperini. Next up, dry cleaners. Oh, well, let's see, we got the money, we got the jewelry, now we need the clothes. The machine, oh, oh, we have a little tear here. Oh, 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 that happens sometimes with vintage books. The machine with the shirts and dresses in plastic bags winds around and around. Ever been to a dry cleaner? You should go with your parents. It's really cool to see those things whirling around. I would like to write on it. Yeah, me too. Like magic, it stops here at Mama's suit. The dry cleaner lady taps my pocketbook. Oh, what a pretty shade of green, she says. She gives me a tiny calendar with animals of the world. And it looks like January is koala month. And this place is called Puffin Cleaners. Wow. Thank you, Puffin Cleaners. That's pretty darn cool. You're giving away calendars to put in big green pocketbooks. You clean clothes on. You have these fancy whirling things. And hey, you even have a bowl for lost buttons. That's nice. Maybe they can find one another. The inside of the 5 and 10 store is dim. My shoes clump, 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 clump on the wooden floors. Mama buys some flowered material and a pack of sewing needles. Then we look for a present for Daddy. We get a sack of gumdrops shaped like orange slices. Oh, that's so yummy. Makes me want to have orange slice candy. The candy lady says, fun day for you ladies to be out and about. That makes me giggle. <laughs> she called us ladies. <laughs> well, you are. You're just a, a, a short lady is what you are. See, it's kind of dim in here. It's kind of brownish, the colors. And look at the bins of candies. Oh, man. I wish I could read those and see what kind of candies. Uh, oh, I bet those are the oranges. It kind of look like little orange slices. This looks kind of chocolatey. This looks gumdroppy. Maybe this is cherryish. This looks mintish. I'm just imagining by the colors, but boy, I love candy. Oh, look at that. Rabbit slippers for 99 cents. What a deal. And look at that. There's a cat in the material. There's a nice fan here for when it gets a little hot. Well, we are not done yet. My pocketbook is starting to get full. Our last stop is the drugstore. Ding, ding, ding. Mama buys a hot water bottle. She gives me money to buy a new box of crayons. Score. And we have ice cream at the soda counter. Oh man, that's so awesome. I love having ice cream at a counter and that's these old timey diner places. They call them drugstores back then. Now they're more like diners. Well, the scoops of ice cream are square and come in a chilled silver dish. That's very fancy. I click the spoon against my teeth and twirl my stool. Foolish girl, stop twirling, stop clicking, start eating that ice cream before it melts. Oh, you see, there's other kids here and they're looking at the books. Hey kids, you know about Kids Have Story Time? Come check us out, we're all here, hanging out, reading, having a good time, whoa. Look, this girl here's ordering. She brought her little tiny purse. Here's a fella cooking, here's a fella reading and drinking his coffee. Mom is doing the right thing, focusing on the ice cream before it melts. Next up, back to the bus. The bus picks us up in front of the drugstore. I show the driver all the things in my pocketbook. I'm on the ride home, I'm sleepy. Wake up, Mama says in a far away voice. We're here, 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 here. I help her gather up all her packages and we climb off and the, the door shit, hisses shut. Then the bus is gone, vroom, in a cloud of brown smoke. Look at that, arms are full. She's got her dry cleaning and her drug storing and her patterns and she's got this bag here. Where's, where's the green pocketbook? Where is it? Where is it? After lunch, I, oh, oh, oh! After lunch, I want to color with my new crayons but I can't find my big green pocketbook. <gasps> you must have left it on the bus, Mama says. Ah! <laughs> my pocketbook is gone. <laughs> Mama says, don't worry, you can have my straw purse. But I don't want her straw purse. I want my big green pocketbook. Then why didn't you keep an eye on it? My whole morning is in my big green pocketbook. It sure is. And now it's lost. It sure is. Moment of silence for the lost big green pocketbook. What? 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 Happy ending? What? The 
then I hear the bus going down the road. Back to the bus station. I run down our driveway. <laughs> the red flag is raised on our mailbox and <gasps> and there inside is my big green pocketbook. The bus driver honk honk toots his horn at me. Oh my gosh, what a most awesome, considerate, thoughtful, kind, intelligent, observant bus driver that he recognized that that was her purse. Remember that she lived here, she managed to stop a free, unstopped, unauthorized, nobody was waving at him, stop, and put it in the mailbox. They knew to raise the, the, little, the little flag because they knew that then something would be in there and then she, and they, and they would know to look and she's got her great I'm overwhelmed. I'm just overwhelmed right now. That night, I make two drawings with my new crayons. One is for Mama and the other, do you want to guess who it's for? I'm going to guess it's the bus driver, but let's see. It's for the bus driver! That's right, because thanks to him, we have the big green pocketbook and the crayons and the calendar and the keychain that the jeweler gave us. Oh, no wonder the big green pocketbook is so popular. It has a happy ending. It has a super cool pocketbook full of basically adventures of a whole day. And I think, hopefully, it reminds you to keep an eye on the things that you value and cherish so that you don't lose them and lose all the memories of the day because sometimes nobody notices the things that you leave somewhere and then all is lost. Hey, storyteller. Hey, Gilles the Giraffe, what did you think? Uh, she wants me to tell you that she loves the book and she loves the voices that you put into the book. And she wants to thank you very much for uh, giving her the experience of having the storyteller read her favorite story. And also, she loves you. But not as much as she loves me, of course. Isn't that right, my chérie? <laughs> Let's go. I have a special plan for tonight. <laughs> well, whatever your special plans are, thank you for spending some of your afternoon with us. And the Big Green Pocket Book! by Candace Ransom. Hey, Candace! Thanks for letting us read your book! And Felicia Bond. And wow, I can see why it's a classic. I really liked it. I'm definitely adding this to my collection. You can too, if you click on the buy the book thingy, my Bobby. And anyway, we'll see you next time, kid. Don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about it because, you know, you want them to be just as smart as you, right? See you next time on Kid Time Story Time.